one in St. Martin. So that's the yeah. <laughs> <laughs> what are we going to do? That cop's down with it. <laughs> Good morning everyone it's tuesday september 14th i think and it's probably around 8 30 in the morning as we're pulling into port in st martin grandeur of the seas has made it here before us looks like she's in for maintenance we're gonna sit here for a little bit we're up on deck 16 and we're gonna watch as the captain backs us into port then probably off to the wind jammer for some breakfast and we're gonna get off the boat and head into town That's an old boat. That's all rusty. There's no, there's just a crew on there, I bet. Yeah, probably. My GoPro just logged up. Hey guys, can I take a for you? Sure! As soon as we got to dock, we were having second thoughts about getting off the ship. We were looking at the weather, it wasn't looking too good. But we said, what the hell, and decided to go anyways. She just ran that. Welcome to St. Martin. Raining. A crazy taxi lady drops us off here. Raining cats and dogs. It's boring. Typical Caribbean island. Our morning in St. Martin didn't start off on the right foot, shall we say. Uh, we started getting a little rain just before we uh, found a cab to take us into town. Once we got into the cab, the cab driver decided to blame us for breaking the air conditioning in her vehicle. I have no idea why she's going to blame us. We didn't touch anything and had nothing to do with it. At any rate, I guess she was just having a bad day and decided to blame us for everything. And then she dumped us off right here, right in the middle of the street. At any rate, it wasn't all that bad. We did enjoy our time on the island. Yeah, we're going to go walk down this way, sweetie. Thank you, though.
cosmetics. Cologne is where you can get the good stuff for the duty free. All the duty free will have perfume. Oh. And here is the courthouse. I'm gonna take a nice walk up here. I think we're good. We're doing good. How are you doing today? Yes. On the morning of September 6, 2017, the Category 4 Hurricane Irma slammed into the island of St. Martin. The hurricane was at full force when it made landfall, killing four people and leaving thousands displaced by the storm's destructive force. The storm washed away buildings, flooded roads, and caused an island-wide blackout lasting weeks. The island had yet to recover from Irma three years later when once again tragedy hit. This time it was the Mexican beer virus, which caused even further harm to the fragile economy. The people of St. Martin are warm, welcoming, and full of spirit. If you get the chance, please come and visit the beautiful island of St. Martin. Oh, the school. How oh, cute, little school kids. We're on Front Street here. And there's Sue walking down the middle of the street. Wi-Fi and beer. What more could you need? That's why I have this one is actually quite nice. Fifth Planet. Eight magnets, ten bucks. Another one. You might find shorts in there. Yeah. I don't know, it reminds me of the uh, stores in Old Orchard Beach all over the place. Hello, ma'am. Very good. battery is down to 30 percent 36 percent my part I should have brought some extra batteries I'm gonna be in trouble judging <laughs> yeah refreshing. You guys got shrinkage? <laughs> it's not cold enough. I was in the pool! <laughs> this is not cold enough. <laughs> oh, yeah. oh, that's what he wanted me to do. But you can't get away with it. Yeah, everything is like Nobody. One of the nicest parts about cruising is the people that you meet on the boat. We met a lovely couple, Dave and Lisa. Uh, we ran into them at Guava Berry on St. Martin. 
and we ended up spending the rest of the week hanging out with them, going out to dinner, spending time in the casino, going to shows. We had a great time hanging out, just the four of us. Now I'm getting a new one. 